Hey church, my name is Ben, I am one of the leaders here at Springs, and today I want to bring you a short message about hope. I'm going to look in uh, the book of Proverbs, really, really well-known verse. It is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. It says, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire comes, it is the tree of life. I want to tell you a quick story about uh, a Christmas when I was about six or seven. In fact, it may not have been a Christmas. It may have been one of my birthdays. Can't remember. Some sort of time when you get given presents. I remember being six or seven and desperately wanting the Venom action figure. Those of you who don't know Venom, he is a Spider-Man bad guy. And I was absolutely desperate for this Venom toy to complement my Spider-Man collection. The day comes. I unwrap the present. At the top, it says Spider-Man. Yeah, come on. I know what present is. I unwrap a bit more. There's a V. Come on, it's Venom. I open the rest of the wrapping, and it was Vulture. For those of you who don't know, Vulture is not a cool bad guy. Vulture is an old man in a suit with wings. He, he is not cool. Uh, Venom is cool. And I remember at that time, as a six or seven year old, feeling heartsick. I had this hope, and uh, that hope didn't come to fruition. Don't worry. Venom was another choice later on, another toy later on in my life. I did not go my whole life venomless. But um, hope deferred makes the heart sick. And although it's a silly example, at this time, in the past few months and, and even the past year, maybe your hope has been deferred over and over again. Maybe your heart feels a bit sick today. You see, the opposite side of this verse, if hope deferred makes the heart sick, well, then we know that the strength of hope can sustain the heart. So does your heart feel sustained or sick today? Where is your hope today? Is your hope in a job and financial security? Is your hope on being able to feed your family today and tomorrow and for the next week? Is your hope found in the things that you do? Or is your hope found in the Saviour who gave his life for you? Don't sit at Hope Hospital today in a waiting room with your heart feeling sick. Why don't you come into Hope House? We have our own facility named Hope House. I don't physically mean that building. Why don't you come and sit in the house of hope with your Father God, with the Lord of Lords, with the King of Kings, with the Prince of Peace. He wants to show you hope today. It is worth enduring a heart sickness, for when a hope is fulfilled, it is the tree of life. So what are you hoping for? What is your hope in today? The strength of hope will sustain your heart. I pray today that your hope is in our Lord and Saviour. I pray today that, that your hope is in Jesus. That is the only true hope that will never make your heart sick. In the NLT version, instead of uh, when the desire comes, it is the tree of life. It says, a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. Church, I pray today that when you put your hope in Jesus, you can see your desires and dreams fulfilled in him. Let's pray. Father God, today, Lord, we, we, we recognize that sometimes our hearts have felt sick because our hope has been deferred over and over again. But Lord, today, would you give us a desire that you can fulfill so that it becomes like a tree of life to us? Lord, would you shape and mould our hope so that our hope is firmly planted in you, the author and perfecter of our faith, this hope that is an anchor for our soul. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you, church. Have a great day.